Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Uh, we're back in at DCS World and we're in the mission editor and today we're going to have a look at setting up an AI AWACS. Uh, now there are a few things to note about the AWACS. Um, one is um, it doesn't seem to matter where you put it on your map, it will always uh, pretty much see any um, sort of bandit on the map so you know I could have it up in this corner where Tur where Turkey is, and it'll still spot and pick up people down here in Jordan. You know, it, it just seems to have unlimited uh, sort of radius of uh, scan, and it just picks up everything more or less. So, with that out of the way, let's just go ahead and get into actually placing it and uh, getting it to uh, orbit and stuff. So we go across to the left-hand side here and select our aircraft icon. And we can see it brings up uh, what we want. So, obviously, we goes without saying we have the E3 uh, A AWAX, the Air Force version, the E2D naval version, and then I think there's the Russian version. Um, to the, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head which one that is. Not doesn't tend to be the one uh, that I use. So let's go ahead and uh, select our E3 A, and let's just go ahead and select it on the map there. Um, you see, here we go. So, I've uh, downloaded some additional skins for it. Uh, I think it just comes up with the NATO and USAF standard uh, as default. But there's uh, some nice other ones out there. That's quite a nice one. I like that one. Let's go with that. Okay, so as you've seen in previous videos, uh, such as the tanker setup video, let's go ahead and just name our aircraft. So let's just call it. Uh, a wax. Let's copy that and paste it into there. Uh, the task we want the aircraft to carry out is the A wax task. Uh, if it's not set up as an A wax, it won't carry out its intended job of what we want it to do. Uh, skill, obviously, pretty self-explanatory. That how you, how well you want the aircraft to handle itself. Uh, tail number. Again, depending on if we have more than one or two uh, in the game uh, operating at the same time, we might want to give them a different tail number. Yes, the radio part, we want that to be enabled because we want to be able to talk to the, the AWACS so we can find out some information uh, during our missions. So we want to make sure that that is ticked. And then we want to select a frequency that we want to be able to contact uh, the AWACS on. Uh, call signs. Uh, we have five different uh, call signs for our AWAX, Overlord, Magic, Wizard, Focus, and Dark Star. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, it doesn't really matter what we call it, so we'll stick with Overlord. Uh, and as you've seen in previous tutorials, whether we want to have a, as a late activation or an um, uncontrolled AI if we've started from the ground. So let's go ahead and set up. So, because we're going to start already in the air, let's just put it up to the altitude that we want it to be. Uh, orbiting at. So let's put up to 25,000 feet and 450 knots ground speed. Okay, so let's go ahead and select our waypoints. So let's put the first one in and then we'll see where we want to have it. I can keep it over Turkey, so if we put it over here, waypoint two. And uh, this is very, very, well, in fact, identical to how we want to set up an AI tanker. Pretty much, we can um, either have it doing a racetrack pattern or a circular orbit. Now, from what I gather, usually AWACS, they just do a circular orbit. Um, but obviously, it depends on the type of threat in the area, I suppose. Um, but for this uh, tutorial, we'll just keep it as a circular orbit. So, as you can see, a circle. If we went back to waypoint one, we'd have um, circle and racetrack. Uh, speed we want to, the aircraft to do it, uh, carry out its orbit at. I'll go back down to uh, like 420 ground, uh, knots ground speed for the orbit. So it depends a little bit less fuel, so it's uh, on time at the station can be uh, slightly longer. Uh, and then we can also give it a condition of how long we want it to be on the station for, provided it doesn't already hit its um, sort of uh, RTB window. So on for as long as you like, two hours, whatever we want to have out. So we'll just go for two hours there. And that's more or less it. 
Now, because we've selected a wax up here as a task, it will automatically um, provide the give the uh, a wax its job as being an a wax down here. We don't have to add any other conditions. Um, what you might want to do though is, if you're a creating mission, you might want the a wax to be silent and provide any information to you until it gets on station. And if we wanted to do that, we could go back to uh, waypoint one, for example. And then come down to here to add. And for this waypoint, up into that waypoint from where it spawns, we can then go down here and select silence, turn that on. And up until that point, the aircraft will be silent. It won't give you any information. You won't be able to provide you with a picture or anything like that. You'll only get that information once it's on station at waypoint two. So that's kind of like it's on, uh, on station uh, mission. So let's go ahead and jump in and have a look and see what it does. As you can see, we got our AWACS now heading towards its first waypoint. And then after it's waypoint one, it'll go to waypoint two and start the orbit. Let's just go ahead and speed that up a little bit so we can see it actually in works. Let's just pass waypoint one. And should be on its way to waypoint two now. As you can see, the dome is spinning. So it's obviously trying out there, trying to detect targets. And there we go, he's in his orbit now. And here we'll literally just fly around and around in circles for that duration that we've put in, two hours, or until um, it hits its fuel RTB uh, point. And that's essentially it on how to set up an AWACS. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments section below. And I'll try to answer them if I can. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye.